Mortgage rates are on the rise. So what does that mean for the real estate market? My good buddy Samson Hills here to discuss. What's up, buddy? Hey, Derek. How you doing? How you doing, brother? Not too bad. All right. So, uh, you know, mortgage rates on the rise. A lot of people believe that will kind of automatically lead to lower prices. Um, I think there's definitely an effect of the sentiment on the buyer when you see, you know, a higher interest rate. Right. What's your thoughts so far just on buyers and how they're absorbing, you know, the fact that rates have gone up so far? So one of the things that I hear a lot and quite often is a crash is coming. Yeah. So I think a lot of people hear interest rates are going up because normally there's like an inverted relationship between interest rates and home prices. So home prices have surged dramatically since what, 2019, 2020, mm -hmm. all the way up until now. So with, inter in with interest rates rising, a lot of people think that the crash is coming. So I see a lot of buyers are saying, you know, I'm just gonna hold out, I'm gonna wait until this crash come. We've been waiting for quite some time, and I'm, I, I don't have a crystal ball, you don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if a crash is gonna come, but I hope that you know the market kind of fizzles down just a little bit. Yeah, I think, it, which I think we're gonna get that. You know, I think we're gonna get a little bit of a you know, calming of the market. I would hope so. Which is good. Right. We can't do this forever. No way. No, this is not fun. <laughs> Especially here in San Diego because, you know, we can only build so far east. Yeah. We got the mountains so far west because of the, the ocean. Exactly. So um, we really don't have much inventory. Yeah. So, you know, I would hope that the market would kind of sizzle out so that way, you know, people can kind of feel comfortable. And obviously that would mean more business for, for people like myself and, and you as well. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's good for buyers. Right. So let's remember buyers who are out there and, you know, like, Hey, um, if the market slows down, that's good for you. Like you don't want to just be buying in a market that's a mania. That's not good for you. That's good for the seller. So when we're we're talking about a lot of people saying, "Hey, I feel like the crash is coming," um, I know that's. Um, I know it makes sense to think, "Hey, when when interest rates go down, prices go up, and when interest rates go up, prices go down." Historically speaking, though, um, that just hasn't been the case. And what's really interesting is if you go back. 40 years, mm -hmm. and every time we get a new inflation number, you, you hear the same thing. It's the highest number in 40 years. So let's right. go back to that time mm -hmm. and look at what happened then. Well, interest rates went from about 7.5%, where they were kind of steadily at for some time, and they jumped up to 18%, 18.5% wow. in the course of a couple of years. So what I did was I went and I looked at that couple of years where interest rates went from 75 to 18.5%. Okay. I said, all right, what happened to real estate values during that time? During that time, real estate values went up about 6%. So real estate values were not affected in a negative way by the rise in interest rates. So it, that, that effect seems to be dealt into a different place. And mind you, back in the late 70s, which is when this happened, right. in early 80s, there was much more opportunity in the inventory um, space for real estate. In other words, there were much more building opportunities. Right. Was, you could go and buy a, a plot of land and build your own house. like. You could go to Sears and Roebuck and order, you know, prefab house and put it together. So, I mean, there were so many different things that you could do to get a house that you can't do today. Right. So the to, to look back and go, well, real estate values still went up, even with all that, even with interest rates, even with all the other opportunities to create housing. Um, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that <clears throat> a rise in interest rates will cause a crash. I mean, you know, maybe it will slow things down a little bit, which would be good. Um, maybe it will cause people to rethink things a little bit, cause buyers to not have such an emotional decision-making process. Right. I wonder how many buyers in the last couple of years have bought a property because they thought, well, this is our only chance to buy a house. It's not perfect for us. This isn't the exact location. This isn't the exact home that we want. That was me. Was it? Yeah. Really? I didn't, <clears throat> my house, it was new construction, Yeah. Um, but interest rates were so low. True. I couldn't pass up an opportunity. Two and a I got two and a quarter. <laughs> so um, being in real estate and, and seeing interest rates that low, I, I had to jump on uh, at that time because, you know, luckily I did because right now what are, what are interest rates? Five point? Uh, uh, average interest rate right now is 5.1. Exactly. For you going VA, uh, conforming balance, you'd probably be about 4.5 to 4.75. That still makes a, a difference in a, in a monthly payment. Huge. So, you know, I saw that as an opportunity. It, it wasn't the, you know, my dream home, and it's not my dream home, but it's a new construction. You know, I think it's going to hold its value. I hope it holds its value. Um, but like I said, with interest rates being so low, I, I just couldn't pass up an opportunity. Yeah. Not even a little bit. Yeah. And, and I think that that may have happened to a lot of people who. Right. And now are, we're starting to see, I think, people not doing that. In fact, I had two people who got in a contract this week. They canceled within 24 hours of getting in a contract. Yeah, I had a buyer do that too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He, um, 
He was actually supposed to move in to make like a week ago. And um, interest rates is crazy because the interest was like a 3.75 or something. And he thought the interest rates were too high. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but interest rates are even higher now. Much so, higher. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to lock in and move in uh, this this month about a week ago. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, this in, in this particular case, these individuals have been pre-approved for a while. Um, you know, they went and they found a home. They got in the contract, and then after they got in the contract, they really did the due diligence. Okay, let's go do the drive from there to work. Let's go, you know, right. check out the neighborhood at night. They realized that those homes just weren't right for them. Exactly. I see that as a really good sign. I know the listing agent called me and was like, well, you want some you know, feedback on the market? The market's effed, you know, blah, blah, right, blah. Right, right, right. No, 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 this is a good thing. I know you don't like it right now. I know it's not great for you at this moment or your seller, but this is good. If buyers are taking that extra step to go, wait a minute, is this right? Right. Because we want real estate in strong hands. Exactly. We want real estate to be owned by people with strong hands and in strong hands, in good care. You don't want real estate to be owned by people who are, have weak hands. Oh, I don't really like this house anyway. You know, so what if they foreclose? Or so what if we give them cash for keys? Or so what if we walk away from it? Right. Non-recourse state, who cares? They can't come after us. Um, and we don't want that. We want people to be excited about the home that they live in. And by the way, one of them already got back in contract. So that shows you a couple things. Number one, the buyers having the right mentality, in my opinion. Right. Number two, the market being a little bit more open. Yeah, because if you're able to get in contract that quick. Twice yeah. in the same week. It's crazy, that's crazy. We haven't seen that for yeah, a long, I, long time. I don't know if you remember uh, Josiah and, and Matt Hannes. Yes, yeah. yeah. We were on a hunt for- Long time. Like six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we got into contract with the one house and we, we, we were in love with it. I was in love with them for them, they were in love with it and it fell through. But luckily, I wanna say maybe like a three, three or four weeks later, we're able to get them into an even better home. Yeah. Um, so, but to do that in a week, yeah. In this market, is is kind of crazy. It is. It, that shows you. I mean, and this is kind of one of those perfect buyers, you know, with twenty percent down, eight hundred credit, okay. and all that okay. stuff. But still, um, to be able to go out and say, you know what, shows you that there's a little bit more inventory, mm -hmm. right? Shows you that there's a little bit less competition. Correct. Um, shows you that buyers might have the their head screwed on right. Man, I can't tell you. It made me even more bullish. Um, just to see what happened this week. You know, I think that sellers do need to, to realize that, okay, yeah, rates have gone up, things have changed a little bit, but please, everyone understand, we aren't just in either a, a craze or a crash. It's not just one of the, or the other. Right. There's tons of you know, middle ground there between a craze and a crash. And yes, we've been in a craze, but that doesn't mean if that's over that we're just going directly to a crash. <laughs> There's a lot of, of distance to travel there. And most likely what's going to happen is we're going to see this, this new market, you know, become the normal. And I think that would be good. Wouldn't it be good if buyers could go out, get pre-approved and get in the contract within a couple weeks? That'd be great. Wouldn't for it? For me, it would be great. You know, it'd be great for, <laughs> for the buyers of, too. A lot of my buyers because, you know, I work with a lot of VA. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I love getting veterans into homes, active duty into homes. And right now it's just tough. Um, it's really, really tough. Um, a lot of veterans don't have a lot of cash reserves or, you know, cash on hand, you know, to do the 20% down or to outbid someone who, you know, is an all cash buyer or someone who's just been saving money for quite some time. So it, it's kind of disheartening for a lot of veterans right now. And a lot of them are losing hope. Um, I had a lot of veteran buyers just say, you know what, right now is just not the time for me. Um, and, and understandably so, you know, right now, especially when you're asking someone to go 20, 30,000 over asking price and they just don't have it, you know? So um, it's definitely, I'm hoping that the market can kind of shift and you know we can kind of get those buyers in those homes. Let me give you some more good news. What's that? Uh, both of those contracts from this week that I was referring to, both in under list price. Oh, wow. Also have another one that was tide watered this week and is yeah, a yeah, better Yeah, we had buyer. an issue before. You know? Yeah, yeah, and it happens, right? Right. Tide water, appraisal comes in, purchase price 571, comes in at 550. And they had removed the appraisal contingency. Oh, wow. But the agent was able to go back to the, the listing agent and say, hey, appraisal came in at 550. That's where, that's where we want the purchase price. Feel good about this. No, no appraisal gap or anything like that? No, no appraisal gap. And the listing agent said, okay, on the spot. Congratulations. So, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So that doesn't, I mean, there's just, there's signs that the market's changing. If sellers are going to be more agreeable. Right. 
and they're going to be more workable mm -hmm. and not just make these decisions from an ivory tower or from some you know soapbox right that is good that means we're working together exactly to make things happen for people and in the end of the day they're going to win look the seller is still selling the place for full appraised value right you know and and they're selling to a, a military family Win-win. Um, they in can my be eyes. okay with in that. In my eyes, it's a win-win. Yeah, they should be okay with that. Right. Also, um, seeing offers getting accepted without um, appraisal gap, without any um, appraisal gap at all. Right. Much less appraisal waived. So um, I've seen all that stuff happen in the last week or two, which leads me to believe that, yeah, the climate is changing, but it might just be changing to be a more agreeable, workable negotiation as opposed to this one-sided dictator oriented right right exactly <laughs> transaction exactly um, which has really been hell for people who are on the buy side mm -hmm. and so if we can get back to where we're working together we're doing agreeable deals I think that's a great thing man yeah I'm just just waiting for the inventory to to, to go up because right now it's it's not where it needs to be yeah it needs to go by up any means because yeah. I go to MLS almost daily and you know I have a couple buyers and you know I, I try not to be pushy you know I don't you know we can't find anything I'm not gonna you know bombard them with um, you know stuff that they don't they don't really like or anything that I don't feel would be suitable for them so sure. you know sometimes I might be checking like once a week just to kind of you know let them know what's on the market and unfortunately weekly sometimes I don't have any good news for them yeah so um, those are things that I'm kind of hoping for that you know we can kind of get more inventory so that you know we can engage in those conversations that can actually lead to going out and seeing some homes and yeah. you know because other than that I'm gonna have to convert over to be a, a listening agent <laughs> 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 oh man great stuff Sam appreciate your time thank you Derek I appreciate everybody. it hey share this video with your friends let's help make them smarter than everyone else we'll see you guys soon